Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video on something called range. So for the first page, we're gonna do a couple problems together. And then you have a chance to pause the video and try some problems on your own. And then at the end, you can see how you did. All right, so what exactly is the range value? Well, the range is just the difference between the highest and lowest uh, values. Let's write that down. So it's just the difference between the lowest and highest values. All right, so here's one example. Here we have the numbers three, four, uh, five, five, and six. So what we have to do is you have to first identify that the biggest number and then also the lowest number. So here I circle the six and the three. So to find the range, you subtract them. All right, that's, again, that's what difference means. It's, it's the answer to a subtraction problem. So six take away three gives us a range of three. So for this problem here, the range is three. So let's try this one over here. Here we have the numbers 10, eight, 14. 100, 2, 88, 55, and 9. So all you have to do is, is just identify the highest and the smallest number, or the biggest and the smallest. So it appears that our high is gonna be 100, and that our low is gonna be two, right? So I need to find the difference. So when I do 100, take away two, that gives us 98. So 98 is the range of this data set. All right, so now that you understand a little more about range, why don't you pause the video and try the your turn now problem. And when you're done, hit play, and you can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. So for this problem, you have determined the range value of the data set. And we're talking about the number of people attending a presentation. So remember, the, the, the range is the difference between the highest value and the lowest. So it looks like this person had a thousand people attend the presentation, that's the highest number. And then the lowest is a hundred. So to get the range, we need to do a thousand minus a hundred, which would give us 900. So 900 is our range value. All right, how'd you do?